A day after Rafael Verani urged the attackers to be more ruthless, Manchester United striker Rasmus Hodgland has shifted the focus back on his defensive teammates after they let three goals in their loss to Galatasaray. After United's 3-2 Champions League loss to Galatasaray on Tuesday night, which saw the £72 million summer signing score twice on a breakout night for him in the fabled red shirt, United season took a turn for the worse. All in vain, though, as Galatasaray scored three times to hand Eric Ten Hag's team their sixth loss in ten games. Hodgelin delivered a harsh assessment to MUTV, saying, Right now, we are not doing good enough. We must keep in mind that we cannot concede goals immediately after scoring. Now in a few of our games, they always score just after we do. We must review that tomorrow, analyze it, and have a group discussion. We're going through a difficult time right now, but the only way we can get through it is by working together. Hodgland's remarks came a day after Verani urged United strikers to play with more ruthless efficiency in an effort to turn around their dreadful season-opening performance. Prior to Tuesday night's match against Galatasaray, the Frenchman continued, the Champions League, is about details and you have to be efficient to win the competition. More effectiveness is required in the last seconds. We only let up goals on a very infrequent basis, therefore scoring requires a lot of scoring opportunities. That is the highest level's reality. In order to win awards, you must be effective. Our team is capable of winning competitions. We must advance and get better. Ten Hag and his players were in dire need of a break after United Saturday loss to Crystal Palace gave them their worst Premier League start ever. When Hodgland headed in the game's opening goal in the first half after Marcus Rashford set it up, they felt they had that. With a stunning breakaway finish in front of the Stretford end, he would score his second goal, which he hoped would become his signature and be remembered by United supporters for years to come. He declared, I've been brought here to score goals and I'm happy I got two more. But once more, if we talk about Marcus, Rashford, he stated in an interview that we attempt to communicate, and he was aware that I would be there right away. We got a taste of that today, so he knows I can keep up with his pace. It was a nice feeling, he continued with the second goal. I felt a little cheated earlier with the offside, but that goal was incredible. On the left side, running a lot, Rasmus scored what I like to refer to as a hallmark goal. It was pleasant. In order for United to have any chance of making it out of Group A, they must win both of their remaining games against Hodgland's old team FC Copenhagen. While there will be a lot of passion in the Hodgland home for those games against their siblings, Rasmus and United can only win if they defeat Hodgland and his brothers. If we want to play in the Champions League after the group stage, we need to pick up some points right away, he said. I'm excited to compete against them since it's a previous team, my brothers are on the team, and I have a strong attachment to Copenhagen. I currently play for Manchester United, and we need to win some games.